Welcome everyone to World of Tanks Secret Files. Secret Files is a branding on the channel where we dive into the nitty gritty of World of Tanks, the secrets behind World of Tanks, and not just the wargaming side secrets, though we have those coming up very, very soon, but also the player sided secrets. Because there are a lot of lies being spewed by the community. And these are things that I want to get to the bottom of because I'm trying to fix this game as a whole. And the game will not be fixed by just telling Wargaming what to do. And if Wargaming does those things, the game will be fixed. No, because there are a lot of um, less than savory people out there who simply don't understand how the world or the game works. And so today, we're going to be diving into that. Riki Tiki Tav posted a video about cheaters in the game and whether the game can be hacked or not. And the comments were pretty crazy, to the point where they bled into my comment sections, telling me that I need to go watch, I need to go analyze this, because he's completely wrong, so on and so forth. Well, I did, I watched it, I analyzed it, and I read the comments. Here's the thing. He starts talking about the potential of hackers, and lag switches, and cheaters in World of Tanks. Do they exist? What are the cheaters? And he made some very good points about, well, yeah, there are some cheaters that exist, and they ex exploit game mechanics. For instance, having a platoon, who are all on one side, and then a platoon on the other team, and they all know each other, and they coordinate tactics with each other, or they park in front of each other, or they decide not to shoot each other, right? That's exploiting game mechanics, and that is cheating. Okay? Fair enough. We all know that. That's not something that requires rocket science but what about hacking what about hacking um, well there are devices that you can use of course there are there are devices that you can use macros that you can use right that you can program to do things for you for instance aiming for you you can do that yes you can absolutely you can it's called technology and we have that technology however you don't have people using that in this game, and if you do, they're idiots. Because this game isn't Call of Duty. Call of Duty is a client-sized game, meaning what you see on your screen is what's happening. Your computer or your Xbox or your PlayStation is telling the server what you are doing, and the server is saying, okay, that's what you're doing. And there's no bullet travel time. It, there may look like there is sometimes because of the animation. However, how hits work in Call of Duty is there is no bullet animation. So a macro that allows you to or takes control of your mouse and just aims for you at center mass and shoots is always going to be better than a manual aim. Always. That's called auto aim or aim assist or whatever else you want to call it. Aimbot. That's the more hacky version for it. Yes, that is cheating and that's horrible. On World of Tanks, if you do that, yes, that's still cheating because you're not allowed to do that. However, it will give you a severe disadvantage because the game is server-side, not client-side. There is shell travel time that you would have to program into the macro to take into account. And each tank has its own shell velocities. Same with all of your ammo types. They have their own shell velocities. Plus, these tanks have their own sizes and they have their own speeds that you'd also have to program into the game, and they have their own armor that you would, guess what, have to program into the game. Every bit of armor you'd have to program into the game. So the only advantage you would have, theoretically, is if you were able to program the macro to help you lead your shots. Okay. But that's the only advantage. After that, you are giving yourself a huge disadvantage because that's aiming center mass. What happens when that armor then faces you? That tank faces its armor towards you? It's gonna aim, guess where? Central mass. You're just gonna be bouncing off. You cannot brawl like that. You are going to lose. And believe it or not, these hackers, though they're awful, horrible gamers because they decide that they need an advantage over you, um, they are smart enough to realize that they're doing even worse. The thing about this game is it will always reward knowledge over raw talent. Believe it or not, your skill will not make you a better player in this game. You could be a crack shot in Call of Duty or in Halo or some other game, but you will get owned by someone who has knowledge of the mechanics in this game, who has knowledge of armor, knowledge of penetration, cell speeds, all of that you will get pwned by that person, even if that person can't aim very well. That's me, I can't aim well in video games. You guys have watched me. But I've got 
at the moment a 68% recent win rate. And a lot of the tinfoil hatters will be like, well, that's because the game's giving you a, a better RNG, better matchmaking, all that jazz. Well, I have a feeling if you were to platoon with me, you would disagree. I have people who platoon with me, and they will legitimately say that they have never had such bad matchmaking or such bad RNG until they play with me. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's just how it works. I just have bad RNG in this game. I don't know why. Everyone else will tell me, you have good RNG, you have good RNG, because you pull off these shots and I don't pull off. Or you go to a position, and I go to that position, and I never have people who park sideways in front of me. It's like, yeah, I went to that position because I knew that people would be there, because I looked at my minimap. Because guess what? I have knowledge. I don't have talent. <laughs> I have knowledge in the game. Okay. Now, something I, I also want to address here. Our lag switches. Lag switches were mentioned in a comment on one of my videos, and I will tell you, they don't exist. Not in World of Tanks. You will not encounter a lag switch. Here is why. On Call of Duty, on Minecraft, you can easily set up a macro for a lag switch, and when you get close to somebody, they start lagging. Why, you may ask? Well, the why is, again, simple. Because those are client-based games. You are connecting directly to their IPs. Your computer can figure out what IP address they have and lag it. That's not hard. Here in World of Tanks console and World of Tanks PC, you are connecting to the wargaming servers. You are not connecting directly to each other. I know that may blow your mind. And so your device does not know the IPs of the people around you. Wargaming might. You would have to hack them. And trust me, we would know if they were hacked. They would know if they were hacked. They would shut their servers down if they were hacked. They would try to get to the bottom of it as soon as possible. Believe me, there are not low-level hackers doing that here on World of Tanks console. <laughs> if you believe that, you are mad. If you find yourself lagging randomly, it is because you do not have your Xbox plugged in. While Wi-Fi is convenient, I used to use Wi-Fi in World of Tanks all the time, and then I would have random lag spikes. And I have a good router. It's a Google OnHub. Okay? It's fantastic. Man, my Xbox is two feet away from it. I would still get lag spikes. Randomly. Through the Wi-Fi. Then, someone said, why don't you plug in an Ethernet cable directly from your Xbox to your router? So I did. Guess what I don't get anymore? I don't get those lag spikes. Nothing has changed. My internet provider hadn't changed. My... Google on hub hadn't changed my Xbox hadn't changed all I did was plug it in suddenly those lag spikes stopped and I had another friend who kept claiming the lag spikes were whenever he was getting close to an enemy they had a lag switch he's lagging lag switch lag switch lag switch then I suggested to him what was suggested to me I said why don't you plug in and see what happens he plugged in never claimed lag switch again the thing is everyone has their own perspective Right? And oftentimes people believe their perspective to be true. In fact, that's usually the case. You believe your perspective is true. I get that. However, broaden your mind a little bit and look around. And now I'm going to touch something that is a lot more um, juicy. A lot. It's going to disturb some people. And I, and I understand. But it needs to be said. People were telling Ricky Tiki Tavi that he needed to provide some proof that there are no hackers in the game what how do you no that's not how it works okay listen claims are what require proof not the other way around we are not making claims we are telling you what has always been true we are telling you what has always been general knowledge we're not making claims you are Okay? This is because truth and facts don't change overnight because someone feels a certain way. It doesn't matter how you feel. Okay? Facts don't care about feelings. This is true even when the majority says otherwise. You could all be telling us, hacker, hacker, hacker. Guess what? That doesn't make it true. Okay? And this is what makes democracy so dangerous and why they have always ended in dictatorships. Now, this isn't me going off on some spiel about why I don't like democracy or whatnot. That at all is not at all the case. All right, I'm just simply stating facts. That's it. Unbiased facts. And this is why. All it takes is one influential and powerful individual to convince a majority of people one way. That's it. 
<laughs> that way it doesn't even have to be true for it to be believed or accepted. In fact, oftentimes, it's not even the majority that believes this falsity. It's merely the loudest group that cry all the same thing over and over and call people dumb for disagreeing, despite not having evidence for their claim. Nearly feelings. Feelings. It always comes down to feelings. I feel like this is correct. I feel like this person should not have beat me in this situation. And you know what? This is led by pride. It made them uncomfortable, therefore it cannot be right. But here's a newsflash. Let's say a deep tissue massage. You ever get those where they dig in? Holy moly, does that hurt. Because they're going after your knots. Like the Dickens. It does not feel good during the process. However, the after effects are worthwhile. Aren't they? It hurt. It was uncomfortable. But in the end, it's good. Not everything that hurts is bad. Okay? In fact, if you're getting pwned by someone, it's probably because they're a good player. Perception and opinions will always be different from person to person. Saying something long enough, loud enough, might make people believe it. But it does not make it true. And just so you know, I want you to... This will hurt some of your feelings. You'll be very upset that I said this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. The man who said, saying something long enough, loud enough, or if you say something long enough, loud enough, people will eventually begin to believe it. That is a Hitler quote. So good job, those of you who are doing that. Obviously, just because someone evil said something doesn't mean it is automatically wrong. That is true. That is 100% true. If you say something long enough, loud enough, people will start to believe it. However, the smart people will not. And here's the thing. This game is not worth hacking. If they're hacking it, they're not giving themselves an advantage. It's plain and simple. There's too many variables in this game. Too many mechanics for a macro to keep up with. It's not worth it. You will put yourself at a disadvantage. The best advantage you will ever have in this game is learning the mechanics and then secondly maybe mastering keyboard and mouse that's probably another fantastic way to just get better at this game it's just master keyboard and mouse and there you go uh, but that is going to be it today i hope you guys enjoyed if you didn't i know who you are <laughs> the game is not out to get you we are still acquiring evidence that the game is not rigged Despite the fact that we do not need that evidence, we are acquiring that evidence regardless. That the game is not rigged, it is not out to get you. Uh, there are plenty of things in this game that have been programmed to make the games go faster, yes. They want the games to be quicker, yes. They want you to YOLO into each other so the game ends faster, yes. They have a bunch of bad players at your 10, yes. However, that is not why you're losing. Okay, swallow your pride and get better at the game. Hope you enjoyed. Go check out Ricky Tiki Tavi's video in the comments below. Sorry, in the description below if you want to see that. And that is it. Take care, everyone. And peace out.